So we have a problem here that says that we want to push a 40 kilogram box along a floor with a coefficient of friction of 0.6. And part A is asking us to calculate the expected friction force that will act against our motion. And of course we know that when we push an object along pretty much anything, we do expect some resistance to our motion, and especially uh, amongst rougher surfaces, we will get more friction acting against us. So what we want is our expected friction force, and we know that friction force is equal to our coefficient of friction times our normal force and we know that normal force is just a vector pointing up if this is our box it's a it's a vector that points up equal to gravitational force but in the opposite direction so really we are calculating friction force with our coefficient of friction times mass times acceleration due to gravity or just gravitational force. So what we just have to do is plug in our numbers and solve for the expected friction force. So we have a coefficient of friction of 0.6 and coefficient of friction does not have a unit with it so we don't have to worry about mixing up units or anything like that and our mass of the box is 40 kilograms and of course on earth acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared and all we have to do is calculate this and we get that our expected friction force is 235.44 Newtons. So uh, let's make this picture a little bigger. When we push this box along the floor, we have our normal force pointing up, our gravitational force pointing down, and the friction force is going to push against our movement back this way. So we have a magnitude of 235. 0.44 newtons, and that is it for part A.